Hello viewers, thank you very much for tuning in and today we're going to have a quick look at the Celestron Travelscope 70 very popular little spot of this and it gets a lot of reviews some comments for and against this scope so I'll try to run through them quickly and give my honest opinion firstly a lot of people will say it comes with a tripod that's useless, it's too lightweight as I say the clue is in the title it's a Celestron travel scope. If it came with a big heavy tripod, which you can upgrade to, it would not be a travel scope. So that's that out of the way. Secondly, some people will say the software disc that you get with it doesn't work. Yeah, that's true, depending on where you buy from. If you buy from us, or many reputable dealers, you will see here, Astronomy Software Download. The newer version does not come with the disc it comes with a download code which is compatible with modern computers the disc with the older version is not so be aware of that so the diagonal I hear a number of people saying that the diagonal does not fit securely with the grub screws I've just tried with this one and that is on absolutely rock solid so I'm not finding a problem with that so maybe there is an issue with one or two or whether the threads it's been threaded there with the little grub screws I don't know but the one I've tried it's on absolutely solid Barlow lens some versions come with a three times Barlow lens a long one like that I've tried no matter how with different eyepieces with the diagonal attached not attached I can't get it to focus so but I do have a Barlow that does work in instead but the one you get with it I could not get it to work also with some versions you get a 4mm eyepiece this is in addition to the 25 and the 10 to give you 100 magnification or 300 with the Barlow 300 magnification for this scope it's in dreamland it's not going to happen you might get away with it on the moon but that is just just too much magnification this is a wide field scope it's designed for low power wide field of views and for that these two eyepieces are, are ideal for that and finally the finder scope I've not got mine on at the moment but you can just see it here on the box and yes I will agree with a lot of comments it's it's not a very good finder scope but to be honest with you this is such a wide field of view when used with the 25mm you don't actually need a finder scope things are very very easy to find without using a finder scope I, I could go into more detail with this scope but I thought I would give my opinion on uh, a number of things that I've seen on online and I may return to this topic and go into more detail at a later date so thank you very much for watching and please check out the links in the description below